Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Pradeep and I am full-time freelance data scientist. On this channel, I make videos related to natural language processing. I share my learning from my previous job experience and also what I, you know, learn while doing the, you know, upward jobs. And most of my videos are hands-on tutorials so that, you know, you can try them and you can bring that knowledge to your, you know, whatever the work you're doing as a data scientist or you can, you know, become as an individual freelancer and, you know, you can earn the money. So that's what I share on this particular channel. So if you are interested in, you know, state of the art NLP, mostly applied NLP like GPT-3, GPT-4, chat GPT, or you think of vector databases and all of those things, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel. So today's video is, uh, you know, about sharing my journey because I recently hit, you know, 100k milestone on Upwork, right? 100k in earning and that's something, you know, a big milestone that, you know, I was waiting for because I used to get, you know, inspired by the people. So I used to search, you know, freelancers video who will share like, you know, how they earn their first thousand dollar or, the, you know, ten thousand dollar and eventually, you know, making it to like 100k and a million dollars or something like that. So I was going through my, you know, Upwork reports and all transaction and details and I thought of, you know, uh, why not share those milestones with you guys because, you know, most of you are, you know, interested in a data science kind of freelancing. I get a lot of, you know, messages on LinkedIn that I might not be able to, you know, answer. I did create some earlier videos, but, you know, I thought of, uh, you know, again, starting some kind of, you know, series of, uh, I would say, you know, some series of videos uh, talking about more like, you know, Upwork freelancing and data science freelancing kind of things and you know covering some of your you know doubts so maybe this could be the first video in that sequence and you know as per your comments you know i can decide you know what should be my next you know videos so yeah so the whole idea is to share my journey when i started you know you know when did i completed my those milestone like thousand dollar or ten thousand dollar or let's say hundred k dollars and even uh, you know there is something called badge on upper right you can become a top rated top rated plus and the expert weighted right that is like you know top one percent on the upwork the expert weighted company right so i recently got that also the expert weighted so i thought of you know going and reflecting back you know how i started and you know so i noted down certain things that i thought i thought of you know just talking to you uh, who knows maybe some of you get inspired and you know uh, try your own freelancing journey because i remember right so I did get inspired by the watching the other people's milestone and their videos. So, you know, let me go into, you know, details and then let's discuss, right? So, I put some details here so that, you know, I don't forget a lot of things. So, I started my upward journey in Jan, you know, 2022. So, uh, it's like now one and a half year, you know, that uh, I started, you know, as a full-time freelancing journey. Before that, I was working in Oracle. I, you know, I was recently promoted to Tech Lead, right? Uh, the whole things was good, you know, it was like a stable job, doing good. But then I thought of, you know, becoming a self-employed, right? So I did create one more, you know, one video where I explained why did I quit, you know, what was my thought process. So if you guys are interested, you know, you can go and uh, check that video. I can put that video uh, link in the description where I talk about my thought process, you know, before quitting uh, my job. Then when did I get my first thousand dollars? So it took me one month, you know, it took me one month to earn my first thousand dollars on the upward. I also shared this thing, you know, earning, uh, you know, I think earning my first thousand dollars or you know getting my first job so i did created one video that you know that will also i will put it into the description that you can go and check where i talk in more detail exactly you know how did i got the, the first because getting the first job usually is very tough and you know difficult getting first couple of you know uh, jobs you need to start with the small i started with hundred dollar uh, you know kind of a fixed rate uh, project the hundred dollar uh, kind of a project right and then eventually i moved to you know hourly billing system and now i only take the hourly you know kind of a job so I, it took me like one month, it might took you like, you know, maybe you do it in a one week or it might take you, let's say the, you know, uh, three months also to complete the first thousand dollars. Depends on the which, you know, domain you are working, you know, how much, uh, you know, skill you have and, you know, how much people are willing to pay for that particular skill, right? So uh, for me, it was easy actually to get the job because I already had earlier, you know, kind of a development experience that, you know, though I couldn't show that my work, what I work in the industry, but I could definitely, you know, uh, create some demo or dummy projects and show them, you know, this is kind of things I have done, right? So again, yeah, it took me like uh, one month to get the first thousand dollar. But then um, I think it took me 4.5 months or let's say, you know, approximately four to five months to hit the 10K milestone. And that was something significant. So when I hit 10K milestone, right, the $10,000 on Upwork, right, that's where I uh, definitely thought of, okay, this is something serious, you know, this is worth, uh, you know, going for. And um, again, I was not doing any uh, regular job by that time, right? I had already quit my job and then I started, you know, uh, freelancing. But then this kind of, you know, kind of reinforced my, you know, uh, thought process that, okay, I'm on the right track, you know, 
this is something i definitely want to do where i have the freedom to choose what kind of work i want to do you know i could decide how much i want to charge for something right so that is that was something interesting uh, you know and i really started uh, you know liking and i think it took me around 13 months total 13 months to hit my 50k milestone right 50000 dollars on the upward and to hit the 100k right which is this one it took me 17 months right almost like one and a half year it took me to actually reach that 100 uh, 1000 dollars you know milestone and throughout this uh, you know milestone like you know uh, starting from let's say you know even getting the first 100 dollar to let's say you know earning the 100000 dollars on the upward right uh, you know it's like a interesting journey like you get to work on a different kinds of project you know uh, you know over the period of time i also increase my hourly rate also right so uh, that also i increase and i also got those multiple badges right so if i tell you exactly when i got those badges when i mean badges i mean like you know this thing so it took me 5 month of my upward journey to get me a top rated you know kind of a badge so when you get good uh, badge right like a top rated top rated plus right it is give you you know it becomes very easy to get the job because then you don't need to literally apply to the most of the jobs if you have a good profile you know uh, you know you could show the good earning uh, you know good you have good reviews then you will get invitations actually right Uh, from the client you will get the invitation to work right so the, you don't need to you know apply and convince them and all of those concept things so it took me 5 months to get me a top rated then it took me 14 months total to become a top rated plus you know uh, the next thing and then eventually uh, i got this expert rated you know that kind of uh, status you know after 17 months just recently you know i got this in the last month only so that represent right expert weighted represent the top 1% on the upper that's what they claim but you know uh, that's what right so this was interesting uh, you know these two things uh, kind of hit simultaneously like earning 100 ke on upper can become you know uh, expert uh, you know weighted kind of that uh, badge what i got on the you know upper i will be sharing maybe i uh, when i edit this video i can share the actually the chart you know I also increased my hourly rate, right? So uh, when I started, I started with hundred dollar fixed project, like hundred dollar. I think the first two project I did like hundred hundred dollar fixed project. But when I started hourly, I think uh, I quoted the twenty five dollar, uh, you know, my first hourly job. And then from twenty five dollar to let's say after one and half year, now I'm like uh, you know charging seventy dollar, like seven zero, right? So uh, that is something you know I can show as a graph, you know, over the period of time. how this you know the hourly things you know change but there is one thing let's say if i onboarded a client when i was charging them let's say 50 dollar or something and today if i am charging let's say 65 dollar there is a chance you know i will be still you know getting only 50 dollar from that particular client so mostly i will be charging that uh, whatever the increase amount of hours right to the next client or the new client that i am you know uh, onboarding and it never happen at least in my case that you know that i am actually quoting let's say Fifty dollar, and then someone asks me, "Hey, can we do it in a forty or fifty? It never happened to me. Usually, I never, uh, you know, got something like, let's say, my last pay was like forty-five dollar per hour. I never went down. You know, I always increased, right? When I started, I used to increase quite uh, fast. Like, I think every month I increase five dollar, right? But then I stable. When when I got like fifty dollar per hour, I kind of kept it stable for a couple of months. and then maybe i slowly went from you know 5 dollars but not like every month because i thought that was a good amount like 50 dollar per hour pretty good amount if you are able to work let's say 6 to 8 hours a day uh, that is something good many people ask me you know hey how much i should charge right even some of my interns uh, you know ask because they also do uh, freelancing right and uh, i don't have any direct answer you know so basically you can decide for yourself if you think that you know you are getting 1 lakh rupees salary then you can calculate the number of hours and then you can see whether uh, 20 dollars are sufficient to get let's say same amount of money so when i started i used to think you know if i could charge um, 20 25 dollars so i used to think even if i get let's say 1 lakh rupees a month that's a good amount so definitely i used to get more money uh, you know uh, when i was working but i was saying that you know 1 lakh rupees i thought you know it's a sufficient amount uh, you know uh, to live a uh, good life so i thought up okay how much should i charge if i want to earn the 1 lakh rupees per month right so i thought 20 25 dollar rupees is perfectly fine to earn that you know uh, 1 lakh rupees per month but then i started with the 25 and now let's say uh, 70 dollar per hour right so that's also interesting thing that doesn't mean you know some people think that hey uh, if i do this small small thing for 10 hours and uh, you know 10 dollars or 15 dollars you know i will never get it's not like that right it's not 
your job that you know that uh, a, at the end of the year there will be an increment cycle and you will get 10% and 12% that you have to convince someone no it's not like that here you do the job and the next week you can increase your you know hourly rate and no one is going to ask you 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 can charge that hourly rate to the new client right not the existing client but uh, this is beauty about right so that's what the whole my thought process when i thought of becoming a self employed you know this was i was thinking that i should be able to decide what kind of project that i want to work on when to work on and how much to charge for them right and from where to work like all this four kind of a freedom usually i have this right? i could actually officially become a digital nomad now like i have a stable income i can stay anywhere you know and uh, you know recently i visited goa for 15 days and you know i was doing my work and traveling everything was fine right so i think this is pretty good life in terms of you know if you are able to get some good okay this question also i get is it the money stable at least in my case you know i always got the stable income because i am always dedicated to this thing right i make sure i deliver the work i you know i make sure i have a good communication with the client to update them whatever i am working i kind of uh, you know take efforts to educate them right about the stuff what i do right and uh, one of the powerful thing is actually the youtube so youtube has actually helped me got lot more job nowadays also i get many dms on linkedin mostly they are from the founders right let's say they want to build something and they are looking for some kind of a technology and they came across your video and then definitely they want to check with you whether you are available so that they can you know uh, hire you as a freelancer and i get most of my uh, you know jobs like that you know someone will see me hey we watch your you know let's say pine cone vector database video you know we also have similar work you know we watch uh, you created the chatbot using chat gpt and something like that right so in your case it could be anything right you might do like graphic design you might do the other data engineering or data visualization you could do anything right so if you could share your work on let's say upwork uh, not so yeah, even upwork also you can put some demos but i mean uh, like youtube uh, the linkedin like those are the really good medium right so maybe uh, so i get consistent like i get work from linkedin i get work from upwork i get uh, you know someone watches youtube and then they message me on the linkedin because it's easy to find me on the linkedin right that's how things so there are like two three different sources from which you know uh, let's say i get the work and i need to make sure the existing clients you know they are also uh, you know doing good maybe now this 100k might mislead some of you saying that okay there is one thing i also have on my own team you know, i have a small team you know uh, sometimes i have more people but they do you know kind of a redundant work like most of the time uh, and but eventually i'm able to leverage that thing uh, you know but yeah this is upwork carving right now i also have a client who pay me directly so overall my freelancing earning will be more than this this is just the only upwork you know what i get from the upwork but i still think upwork represent almost 70 to 80% of my yeah i mean calculated exactly but i think it should be around 70 to 80% of whatever you know i earn on the upwork okay so uh, that's i think all uh, you know reflect because i could talk about lot of things you know everything but again i have created already videos on you know how did i got my first job you can go and check that video right i also created video on let's say you know how to write a good proposal i actually shared my you know direct proposal what i wrote my earlier four proposal i you know shown uh, in the video that you can go and check what exactly you know how did i convince the client right that also something i have created the video i also created one video related to the tech stack i use right the kind of technology libraries i use but now i need to create a new video because in last one year almost lot of things has changed right the new things has came the lang chain the llama index and lot of things are usually so maybe i need to create the new video so most likely i will be creating you know what tech stack now i use right what kind of project usually i get right so you will get an idea what kind of work is there you know at least with respect to natural language processing you know i'm talking about so that you will get the idea what else yeah that's something i need to recreate that video are there any other doubts if you guys have what you can do actually you can put it in a comment as i told you right i'm thinking to create you know uh, kind of uh, series or sequence of videos actually you know uh, related to let's say this data science and freelancing and upwork and maybe the financial freedom in the context of let's say digital nomad and that kind of stuff but yeah it depends on you know uh, what you guys want to know you can comment and maybe you know now uh, then i create videos about that right also right i do hire interns nowadays i also hire the collaborators means like the people who work with me uh, mostly i started with my friends actually you know the the people whom i know are the people whom i trust right so they kind of dedicate their couple of hours daily they they even mentor my other you know interns right so most likely going forward my earning will be actually the team earning now 
but the thing is that uh, it's not like an agency you know i make sure every project i deliver you know i make sure that i understand what's happening in the every project right so that's why i'm not able to scale right i can't uh, you know just take many projects because that's not possible the way i work right everything has to go through me so uh, there is a limitation what how much you know i could do actually so you can think of like every project then i'm leading kind of thing you know? but i also have a team member you know who delivers uh, that kind of work okay i think you know this video got long but uh, yeah that's what i just wanted to share the milestone maybe that inspired some of you that yes there is a stable life and i think after covid this has become now norm right the remote work i get many remote work opportunity right so many people want uh, not as a freelancer but they want to hire me right and um, they are pretty good offers compared to even uh, the if you compare the indian standard right so you can get offer like 150000 uh, you know you know 150k or you know 100k that's like a normal uh, you know offer you get for the remote work right depends on the kind of experience you have right so even uh, the remote if you don't want you know let's say tomorrow i don't want to deal with 10 15 people or 10 15 clients and i just want to you know uh, work and earn the similar money let's say i'm able to earn 100k yearly now most likely i will be earning or maybe more and uh, then maybe i think i do the job right so those are also options are available because my credibility is online actually you know people can go and verify this and this was different when i used to go for let's like, say if i go to job interview uh, it's hard to tell them exactly what you have done only you know how will the people verify most of the time you work those are internal projects and you know it's not clear how much you have contributed and all of this right but as a freelancer i have the higher credibility my earnings are you know there that someone can check they can check the reviews and all of these things right they can check my youtube videos to know whether i am really capable of delivering those things or not right so i think even if tomorrow i want a stable job this is going to really help me because i have a lot of issue you know credibility outcome there and that is something is even if you guys are thinking you know that you know if you want to make sure you know you get the incoming job right now i literally don't remember when did last time i applied for any job i i don't remember maybe it could be only first one or two months of my upwork journey but after that i never applied to any job all are incoming right i get the invitation i get the message on linkedin right so because of that no need to worry about you know convincing someone and applying for a job and all of this things okay right actually there is a lot more to uh, you know discuss the learning the tips and all of those things i think you know throughout my journey whatever things i i did mistake lot of mistakes you know i did uh, kind of a thing but yeah maybe i can share those details also so let me know in, uh, into the comment you know what kind of things you are interested to know more about it could be even more technical side of the what work i do or it could be general you know towards the life you know how uh, you know in terms of freelancing and upwork and you know getting online or remote job it could be anything like that if you have any doubt or even it could be like something like you know hey how can i work with you or maybe you know whether i can get the internship to uh, you know work with you something like that right so i hope you found this video yeah it's a long video but maybe you found something you know interesting uh, something inspiring that you know you guys can you know uh, you know try right okay thank you